resources. We have a glimpse of what we can expect if a shell type company arrives in town when we look at what's happening in Huerfano County just to ourself. What we need in place is protection, ready for when the bigger fish tries to try their luck here. The regulations on the county table currently are grossly inadequate to support our community. They were essentially written for counsel by the industry and do not allow us, the home rule city, to restrict where this industry can drill inside city limits. At the very least, our home rule status should allow us to prohibit drilling in residential areas, mandate our own inspector that has authority for enforcement, make tracer tags required for each well so that when oil and gas toxins show up in an aquifer five miles from here, we know who the culprit is. Yeah. Yeah. Require pre uh, mandatory pre-drilling uh, for water wells and air quality samples done by an independent lab as, fe as well as ongoing testing demand a ban on evaporation ponds, injection wells, or disbursement of flow back within our city limits. Yes. These, should, these should be the minimum standards and the cost of doing business here. But the regulations being voted on today belong in the dumpster. Yeah. Because that's where they, they do not include any of these basic provisions of accountability. Look around you. We are the people who are demanding accountability from an industry that has a pathetic track record for safety. The Americans for Prosperity has for prosperity have called people like us anti-American, tree huggers. And I love this one. We're all unemployed and funded by the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> the best quote from these folks that want to push this polluting industry into every corner of our fair city is that we are the hysterical minority. I don't know about you, but this enormous group of citizens gathered today in the freezing cold doesn't look like the minority of the population to you, to, you, to me. What does it look like to you? I'd like to introduce Kelly Kringle of Werfano Frack to tell the story of how inadequate regulations has caused enormous problems in La Vida and the surrounding area. After hearing her tale, you'll have a better understanding of what we will be facing here if our council agrees to adopt the regulations that are on the table. Kelly Kringle has been a resident of La Vida since 2005. She was drawn to the area by pastoral beauty and clean environment, and she planned to pursue a lifestyle committed to renewable energy, organic food production, and sustainability. To resist the encroachment of oil and gas fracking, she co-founded the Citizens for Warfano County in 2011, and has served as its president since its inception. Her academic background in science and diligent research have made her a respected and formidable opponent to Royal Dutch Shell's plan in Warfano County. Please welcome Kelly Kringle. Yay! Thank you, and uh, thanks, Laurel, for the opportunity to share a bit of the story of what's going on in Werfano County. Um, Werfano is about an hour and a half south of here, and it's um, it's very rural. There's only about 6,500 residents, um, and it's very pristine and beautiful. Um, we have had experience with oil and gas drilling in the past here. In fact, um, there was a disaster where an aquifer uh, was ruined, and there were well house explosions, um, cattle sick and dying, and apparently <laughs> it's not the only place it's happening either. Um, Fifteen wells were, were unusable, um, undrinkable after that. Um, <clears throat> there was a COGCC cease and desist order on the operation, um, and the cause was due to uh, the geology of the area, the unique uh, geology in, in dikes and sills. So um, <clears throat> at the time of Petroglyph drilling, there were no regulations at all in place in the county. So I you know, commend you for getting on top of this. Um, we did adopt regulations in the county 
um, when the next company came in and um, uh, in fact, uh, the conditions that were put on uh, the Presco permit caused them to actually leave because they found it to be uneconomical. Um, so that shows the power of what your your local government can do. Um, and uh, so that was that was back in 2007. We had all those problems, but fast forward to now. Um, 2011, Shell Oil has come into the county and leased up hundreds of thousands of acres. Um, we're actually working on a map to figure out exactly how much it is. Um, <clears throat> their first well that they applied for, the public was unaware of, of the leasing that was going on, um, and they applied for a 14,000 foot deep well two miles outside of town, which was to have a gigantic evaporative pit. 225 feet by 110 feet by 14 feet deep and uh, <clears throat> sitting on top of a water table that was listed at 22 feet. So this is, as everybody knows, pit liners leak and this was essentially eight feet above the water table and um, this was all just kind of in under the radar. Um, <clears throat> so the story kind of goes on. We organized, actually had a lawsuit against Shell and the COGCC for uh, against that permit. Um, either that or the price of natural gas temporarily held them off from drilling that well, but they switched gears and now they're going for Niobrara oil. Um, they have four permits for Niobrara oil, which is like what the company was looking for here. Um, and uh, in the meantime, they've launched a huge whitewash public relations campaign, including uh, public forums. They've been hosting open houses in our community centers. Um, company, you know, landowner dinners, um, etc. So we've been, you know, uh, basically trying to counter that. <laughs> we have a large citizens organization of like over 500 people. Um, that's pretty good in a county of 6,000. And again, we haven't Woo! even really, yeah, we haven't even really um, like recruited that much. It's just, it's just there. So um, yeah, it's good to see all these people out here. I trust that this is a, you know, a statewide, nationwide uprising, like Phil McKinnon said. The big problem is global warming. We have to protect our cities, we have to protect our pristine lands, we have to join together, we have to rise up, we have to win.